Hey guys, so I picked up Final Fantasy 13 today. There were no midnight showings in Marin County, unfortunately. And uh, I decided to stay home sick to play it. Shh, don't tell anyone. So I'm going to check in every so often and give you guys some of my thoughts on Final Fantasy 13 as I go. And uh, if you want more details, check the Anime Vice Twitter account because I've been tweeting about it as I played too. Because I'm just that good. The whole world was against us. Okay, I've been playing for about an hour now, and uh, while it's very pretty, and there's some really shiny things going on on that screen, I have mostly been sitting there pressing X a lot. About an hour and a half-ish in right now, I've just gotten to one of those, you know, kind of transition save point that's between two major plot points. So I figured it was a good time for me to sit down and issue a few more thoughts. Characters, uh, we've met Lightning and Saz, who is the dude with the chocobo. And Saz is, so far in the game, he has enticed a small child with his adorable chocobo that he keeps in his hair. And he has issued several very, like, Eddie Murphy and Mulan punchlines. Uh, he's had some serious moments too, so I think he'll develop okay. But my initial impression, yeah. Although I'm really glad to see characters that have a little more life to them than Final Fantasy XII, which doesn't take a lot. Pigtail Girl. We've had about five or six lines from her so far. I think I already hate her voice. It is really tee -hee. Like, always. Tee -hee. Uh, even though she's like trying to comfort a kid who's just gone through a massive tragedy. Aesthetically, I would say we're looking at kind of a fusion of Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy VII. I mean, you're launching with two different kind of rebel groups fighting against a government um, in an up above city from people who don't want to go down below. Uh, so a little bit Final Fantasy VII like in that regard. Um, lots of green, sort of dark as coloring right now. The palette is very dark. So that also makes me think of the opening of Final Fantasy VII. But you know, you're running around on a lot of like highways up in the middle of the sky. Uh, which is very Final Fantasy X. Uh, and a bit Final Fantasy VIII as well, I suppose. I've got a lot more game left to go. Uh, and a few more hours that I'm going to put in today. But right now, it's about 1 o'clock, so I think I'm going to take my lunch break. Cocoon is caught in the grip of a post-born terror. Oh, right. I guess it's time to get back. <laughs> So I'm two hours in, I've finally gotten to a few maps that are not a straight line, which is pretty cool. Uh, battles are also starting to get a little more interesting, at least before the battle, because now they've finally shown you how to sneak up on a bad guy. It reminds me a little bit of Earthbound, where whether you um, touch the bad guy from the front or from behind, um, established whether you would get a preemptive strike at the beginning of the battle. It's a lot harder to do in Final Fantasy XIII. Lightning. About two and a half hours in, and I just died for the first time. I wasn't really paying very close attention to the battle because I was also conversing on the Anime Vice IRC channel. Uh, so, yeah. Oops. Okay, just finished uh, the uh, last chunk of the beginning intro -y part. I'm starting to see where they're really going with this. They just opened up the battle system to include the paradigm shifts, which are kind of a fusion of a job system and uh, the Final Fantasy X-2 costume change thing, where what abilities and, and special attributes you have depends on which job or paradigm your character is set to have, and you can level those up individually, and you can change them mid-battle. So that's, that's the basic idea. There's no cutesy little cutscene, though, thankfully. While the intro was really kind of boring battle system-wise, they did do a lot to set up the characters, some of whom I like better than others. I still say Vanille needs to decide whether she's going to use the Australian accent or not. The actress is Australian, so it's a real accent, but it's kind of in and out and in and out and weird. I mentioned before the uh, sneaking part of the battle system. It's gotten a little easier as you sort of get the hang of exactly how it works. They kind of give you a little notification that says, okay, now you're in sneak mode. Um, if the camera controls were a little stronger, I think you could sneak a lot better. And I'm probably seeing this in large part because I've been playing a lot of Fallout 3 where sneaking is something you do a lot of. 
uh, and you have very strong camera controls. They're a little wonky in the PS3 version, so I would not be surprised if that was true in the Xbox version as well. Although I haven't been talking to anyone who's been playing the Xbox version, so if you have it, you should leave something in the comments and talk a bit about it because I'm playing PS3 version and I have no idea what's going on on the 360. So there you have it, Final Fantasy 13. You basically got like Pain, Titus, Riku, Vaughn, and Chris Tucker. And that's your party.